I'm in Vik, on the south coast of Iceland, a nation with a unique 5G story. Now, Iceland is roughly the same size as the state of Kentucky, but with just 10% of the population. And another big difference between the two is that 99% of Iceland's population has broadband, whereas only about 75% of Kentuckians have high-speed access. How can that be? The answer is 5G. I've been all over Iceland this week, and I've never had less than five bars, which is a remarkable achievement. Ubiquitous broadband coverage is vital for the economy here, which is heavily reliant on tourists, like me, and for the scientific community, which depends on high-speed cloud connectivity enabled by 5G to monitor volcanic activity effectively. This is particularly crucial here in Vik, which sits next to Katla, one of Iceland's most powerful and active volcanoes. Iceland's geography makes it a challenging place to establish a network. Then there's the weather. Local service providers Simin and Vodafone Iceland have tackled these challenges using innovative approaches like distributed antenna systems or DAS. This one's made by Ericsson. And small cells, not to be confused with soft cell. Those technologies are also available in the US, of course, but only 40% of US states can claim the same level of broadband penetration as Iceland. And one of them is New Jersey. <laughs> Politics, as much as technology, contribute to Iceland's broadband advantage. Iceland has one of the most stable governmental systems in the world, reflecting Icelandic culture. Tough, uncomplaining, hardworking. Icelanders simply get on with it. This sets the country apart from places like the US and the UK, where politics has become sort of a surreal freak show of incompetence, finger-pointing, and barefaced corruption, with very little actual progress being made on important things like, well, digital connectivity. All of us know in our hearts, we would not knowingly move our family, move our home next to a cell tower, right? We know it implicitly, that there's something just not right there. They have an expression here, at munter, Red dust. It means it'll be fine. And for lots of reasons, that turns out to be entirely true for Iceland's impressive 5G infrastructure.